Hi, I'm Mike Carper, Whiskey Alpha 9, Papa India Echo, and the purpose of this video is to give a quick preview of the new HRD version 6.0 logbook feature called Work Status Indicators. Okay, so in the first example, and again we're running 5.24.0.36, and we can see some spots here. I've just filtered it down to 15, but here's a spot for China which is BD4GNV. Uh, so this says that I've worked China on 15 meters. That's what this column indicates. I've worked them on 15 meters. Well, I might not know whether or not I've confirmed them on 15 meters, and if I'm a, an awards chaser and I have to submit confirmations, it would be important for me to know whether or not I've confirmed them. So I'm going to set up a filter here. and. Uh, China is DXCC 318. I'm going to put in 318 just to help my search. You wouldn't have to do this. But I can see that I've worked them on 15 meters. But I haven't confirmed them with QSLs or Logbook of the World. I can see that I have confirmed them on EQSL, but let's say I'm chasing DXCC and they don't accept these. So I haven't worked um, China or, or confirmed China on 15 meters. So even though the the spot says that I could ignore it, right, because it's got a check there. I really want to know that I should continue working China until I confirm one. Okay, now let's look at what we have with HRD version 6. And this is a uh, pre-published uh, beta version of version 6. And what we've added here are uh, columns that we refer to as worked status indicators. Whereas the previous version of HRD only showed you the work status for a particular band, we've added choices for country, band, mode, leaderboard, um, and band mode combinations that I'll demonstrate later. But let's, let's look at the one that we talked about a moment ago. Here's BD4GNV. Now I can see here that um, although I have confirmed China as a country, the yield sign indicates that I've worked, but not confirmed that band. So let's look at where that comes from. If you go into Options, under Appearance, you can see the new um, work status icons here. The first one with the check means you've confirmed this country. The second one means you've uh, worked, but not confirmed the country. The next one is like it used to be, that you haven't worked this country and then we'll talk about these here in a moment but here are some icons that are some choices that I want to use maybe I um, I personally don't want to use EQSLs let's say so I'm good with paper confirmations and with logbook of the world because I'm chasing DXCC so that's how I'm going to set that up so when I go back over here what this tells me is is that I've confirmed China as a country in my log and I've worked them on this band I've worked China on this mode, and even better, we've added something called Logbook of the World. I can see that this particular station is a Logbook of the World user. So I click that, and I can see, let's do the same search that I did before. I'm going to put in 318, and I can see the two that I've got here. I can see that um, I have worked China on 15 meters. I've not had any confirmation, so this accurately shows me that um, on this band and on this mode being CW and 15 meters that I should continue trying to work China because I want to get a confirmation and even better I can see that it's a log brick of the world user and if I work these guys right here I have a pretty good chance of getting them confirmed without spending the money on postage. You'll also notice that the work status indicators are available in the add logbook entry window. So if I select uh, this spot here come up here and uh, open up the add logbook entry I can see the um, work but not confirmed and confirmed statuses uh, for that call country and so on okay so let's review that a little bit so we were just looking at the work status indicators and you can see here on the right hand side it says you have confirmed QSOs with this country but it doesn't say that you've confirmed them on a band or a mode. Okay, so the meaning of this is when you add these columns and you add these columns to suit your particular interests, the work country column, if you have a green check there, that means you have worked uh, and confirmed 
uh, QSOs with this country. If you have a yellow yield sign, that means you have worked but not confirmed QSOs with this country. And if you have the red X's, um, this indicates that you've not worked this country. The next one is worked on band. So this is similar to the uh, band column from uh, HRD 5.2X, but with the yellow uh, yield sign to indicate that you've worked but not confirmed this particular country. Mode being the same thing, uh, the green check mark means you've confirmed uh, QSOs with this country on that mode. Yield means you've unconfirmed or worked QSOs with this country on this mode. And lastly, uh, the X meaning you have not worked this country on this mode. Okay, so it's very important to, to get the distinction there. There's a couple other choices here. One that says worked all, and this refers to um, those who want to work a particular country in every mode and band combination there is. So that means that let's say you want to work uh, every country on 15 meter CW, 15 meter uh, voice. So it's band and mode along with the country. Again, the consistency of the green check, yellow yield, and red X's are uh, meaningful there. Work leaderboard, this is um, similar to um, the worked all, only it refers to a particular call sign, band, and mode. So essentially it's for those de-expeditions where you really want to work NH8S on every band and every mode that they operate. It's a way for you to um, make sure that you can uh, track your progress there. So using that example of NH8S Let's go look at their log and I went ahead and put my uh, call sign in here to look at their log and this shows me that for that expedition I had worked them on all these bands and all these modes so CW phone and these bands so what the work leaderboard function will do is uh, help you see cases where even though you've worked them on 40 meter CW, you want to work them on 40 meter phone and this gives you the opportunity to uh, highlight that with a red X so that you can uh, go back and fill in the rest of your leaderboard. Okay, so let me show you where you select those. Down in the DX cluster, I can select option and under layout, you'll see these worked um, status indicators available here. We may rename these before we um, actually release the software. I'd rather see, uh, in other words, this is work bands. And it's the old version of work bands that have been out there um, since 5.0 beta. We'll leave it. But this is a work status indicator. This is a work status indicator. This one, this one, this one. And so we want to draw those out. But if you want to add those, you would just simply select the leaderboard move it over and then move it up to whatever uh, spot in your particular display uh, wherever you want to see it. When you come back over here it'll put that leaderboard um, uh, column in your in your cluster view. Okay, So um, I don't particularly need that so I'm going to pull it back out. Um, you can also, I, I talked a while ago about we've got logbook of the world membership so that's the function that shows you whether or not uh, these particular stations are logbook of the world users. There's also EQSL member, um, so it'll show you. And I'm going to just move it up to the next to the logbook of the world member. And I'll click OK, and I can see cases where here's uh, here's a station that's active on uh, EQSL but not active on logbook of the world, and vice versa. So. Uh, you'll be able to get that information. It's also important that you go to the final tab here where it says QSL members and you need to uh, select how you want that logbook of the world or EQSL data updated. Uh, you can update it manually by clicking the update button or you can click auto and when it does that it'll collect up that data daily uh, from sources that are maintained on the internet. And then um, you can also say, well, I'm, I'm, I want the automatic update, but I want you to ask me before doing the automatic updates. But that's where you find that uh, those functions. But get that information uh, to 
download into log uh, HRD logbook and then that's how you'll be able to um, see whether or not these stations participate in those programs. Now I'm going to go back over to the layout and I'm going to pull out the EQSL piece that I don't normally use and this is my default um, layout and by the way you'll notice that I don't put date in the default layout some people do but uh, you're only going to see you know 20 30 50 spots however it's set up and and so um, it's inconceivable that I'm going to see any spots here that are older than 24 hours anyway so um, I'm just going to leave them there uh, without you know leave it without the date but uh, within the layout you can select whatever fields you want to move over if you're interested in knowing you know CQ zone then you can select the DX station CQ add it over into your uh, display I'm going to move it up next to uh, I'm going to move it uh, next to the country and it'll show the CQ zone okay so I don't normally look for that again so I'm going to remove it which is easy just come back over here grab that push it back off the uh, grid and there we are back where we started the plus sign means that you have received QSLs from this station so in your log this is a call sign a station that has confirmed QSOs with you before if it's a minus it means that you have QSOs in your log with this call sign or this station but they're unconfirmed and then the blanks would indicate that you've never worked this station okay so let's look at how to set that up so I'm going back into options into the layout it's the one that's currently all the way at the bottom worked station this call sign has been worked so we're gonna move that one up to the very front just because it's kind of the first thing that I might look for so I'm going to click on OK and I can see that in this particular screen um, I have never uh, worked the uh, A31KJ but I have worked and confirmed uh, QSOs with 8R1AK and I don't know if I'll see any minuses down here not in the spots that are currently active but I'll click on the 8R1AK it'll retune the rig of course up here in station we can see more of this information I can see that on 15 meters I've never worked 8R1AK before I don't have any unconfirmed QSOs I don't have any confirmed QSOs I have worked 8R1AK uh, on 12 meters but it's unconfirmed I've worked them on 80 meters and it is confirmed I've worked them on single sideband and that that QSO is confirmed now let's go and look at just to prove us out on this I'll go ahead and come over to the filter 8R1AK and I can see I've confirmed 80 meters uh, single sideband so that's why 80 meters single sideband is lit up I have worked on 12 meters but not confirmed that's why that's shown there I can see the details of uh, Esmond Jones here I can also see down below that uh, as far as the country's concerned let's look at that kind of view here it's uh, DXCC 129 and in Guyana I have worked them on 15 meters uh, single sideband which is this one right here but it was not confirmed uh, I've also worked them on 12 20 and 15 so here's 12 20 and 15 none of those are confirmed and I can see that I've confirmed them on 40 and 80 so here's 40 it's confirmed 80 is confirmed and I can see that I've confirmed them on CW and uh, on single sideband the bracketed ones here by the way indicate the current mode and band of the current spot so this particular spot right now is 20 meters single sideband so single sideband is shown in brackets just to show you that um, you do have a confirmation on single sideband so working this particular one won't get you there but you can see that uh, it's good to work them on 15 meters because uh, you haven't confirmed one yet on 15 meters so thank you and I appreciate it if you need any uh, additional information you can find it on our support forum at forums.hrdsoftwarellc.com. Thanks, 73s.